Now that we're in the full swing of summer, I thought we'd take a look at the more recent excellent examples of UIs. Now there's one common thread amongst all of these examples, and that is motion. So let's check them out. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy. All right, here we go. So we saw a very brief initial loading animation right here. So if I refresh again, collaborate for something better. All right, and there we go. So it's it's, it's pretty pretty quick to load. Um, we can see this little click to continue that's following around. Again, that's probably um, created with the help of JavaScript to get the X, Y coordinates of the mouse. And then we're using just a simple CSS uh, uh, transition to animate uh, to and from that location for that particular development. Let's click to continue. All right, very nice, subtle animation that comes in. I like this thing in the middle here. It's kind of like a, uh, I guess you could say it is a sort of pagination sort of thing um, to give you a visual progress when you're going up and down. So depending on which one you're at, it's showing text here, which is animating in and out. Uh, and again, they are using Lenis scroll uh, for smooth scroll. With Next.js, uh, React, so it's based on React. And Lottie files. Uh, and I don't see anything else like um, the, the typical uh, Greensock or 3.js. Very nice. I like this section down here as well. Very nice and, and smooth, a lot of animation. If we click on this little uh, area at the bottom where it says Spotlight Places and Search, very nice, I sort of like a horizontal approach to bringing in these other pages, which is uh, very, very nice. I love this. <clears throat> and this again, this is the type of thing that uh, GSAP would be perfect for creating uh, because it's very complex to create all this stuff from scratch without the use of any type of library or framework. Awesome, awesome. All right, here's the next one. This is Bave, if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> uh, let's go back here to the main page. There we go. All right, so this is for a restaurant, which is really cool. This is a very practical use case. A lot of these examples are like portfolios and stuff like that. But this is uh, just a brick and mortar business and they've done a very good job. Just notice the animation that's, that's happening subtly in this UI. And that's one of the things I really wanna stress here. Um, uh, too many of your portfolios are just static. There's like hardly no interaction, no micro interactions, no animations of any sort. And one of the things that, that really draws all these together is just their focus on interaction and motion and movement. So scrolling down here, we have this cool sort of uh, <clears throat> SVG graphic that's also being responding to the mouse position. We have these little things flying out. That's really cool. The menu. One thing I have to say about food menus, I hate food menus without pictures. I love being able to see what this thing looks like, all right? So <laughs> the fact that they have plates here is really cool. You hover over these and in and out comes this really interesting text. Very, very cool. It's this, the plate spins as well. We have this little hover indicator. Very, very cool. Scroll down here. I have kind of like this uh, marquee effect in the background. And yeah, I mean, look at all this animation, all this movement. It is just awesome. Excellent. All right, next one up is Sand Clock. All right, so unlock the next generation of wealth creation. Let's click on this. And it looks like we do have uh, what is likely to be 3JS. Uh, yes, there it is, and Greensock Animation Platform. So. They got the whole thing occurring here. So if I scroll down, this part's really cool. Um, so when you scroll down, we have a scroll activated you know, animation. That's what, what this whole page is kind of predicated upon. And we can see this crystal in the background. If we scroll down to a certain point, you're gonna see these three crystals, which look like they are in actual 3JS. There are three, the three JS uh, objects, but this in the back here, that's more of like a video based uh, sort of jewel explosion of some sort. So it's really cool that they have these three elements that you can now interact with. And uh, they're, they're just really, really cool. Um, 
they did a great job of recreating like these jewels in a 3D environment. And as we scroll down, we have some really cool, interesting hover effects, which is aided by 3JS shaders. Scroll down, continuing on. And again, just notice all the animation, all the move, the movement that's occurring here and all the interactions. This is what I really want to focus on going forward um, on my channel in terms of creating interactive UIs. That's where the future is essentially going. And I think this is just a, a great job on this particular website. Let's check out the next one. This is going to be netramedia.com. All right, so powering growth for credit unions, banks, service-based companies. All right, so let's check out the menu first. All right, very nice full-screen menu. Most of these have full-screen menus, uh, but notice the main three are still up here invisible because we have that space available. Let's scroll down. Look at that, a lot happening here. Now, what's cool about this example is I, it's not 3JS, it's not GSAP, it is Webflow. So they used a page builder for this and Webflow is just, just extremely powerful. So these no code or low code tools that are uh, coming out or they've been out for a while, but they're really gaining traction uh, and they're able to, to allow people who can't code or don't want to code uh, the ability to create things like this, which is awesome. and, and Spoiler alert, I am going to be creating probably next year a really in-depth uh, low to no-code course that tackles both Webflow, Framer, etc. So as I keep scrolling down here, everything is just kind of like a seamless transition where you're going from one page or one section of the page to the next and it's just uh, done really well. Absolutely love all the different animation, smooth scroll, hover effects, very, very nice. All right, we're gonna check this one. This is called Omega Watches Space Sustainability. All right, so this one's really cool. Um, obviously something like 3JS here is being used. Yep, in GSAP. And we hover over this, take a look at this. This feels like I'm in a video game. Very, very cool. Something like a, a shader effect that's used to create that. If I scroll down, we see some really other really cool, just, it's very nice and smooth. There's no janky animation uh, occurring here as a part of this, this design. And just, so basically over here, so this is basically I, uh, when you create these elements that move in these text-based uh, elements. Now, I'm not sure if this is entirely composed within something like Canvas, like 3JS or something like that, but I, Typically when you scroll up, let's see if I scroll down here, if we get those same, okay, so we don't get those same animations. If I refresh and scroll back down, this right here, so notice how that's coming from nowhere. So typically in CSS, you're just using the clip path property, um, or you're using more likely overflow hidden uh, in, in order to hide the elements as they're coming in, the individual characters and they're animating in. So it's a very, very, I used and, and well-known tactic for creating those types of animations, which is typically found on text. Just take a look at all this. I mean, this is this is just awesome. 3JS really just takes uh, UI to a whole new level in terms of the abilities that it allows you to unlock. Let's check out Cube Audio, or Cued Audio, rather. All right, so I thought this one was really cool. Uh, we have like the logo right here and they kind of just fall as you're scrolling down. We have our glass morphism effect right here as well. Very nice. And this is kind of one of those brutalist sort of layouts where you know you have things all over the place. And I thought a lot of the interactions were nice. I really like this element right here. I'm not really sure what it is. <laughs> <laughs> e counter. I uh, but yeah, I really like that. It's nice and smooth. And it's just really cool because if you hover over these these cards, it's changing the uh background behind this um I don't know what this is at the bottom, like a little footer element. So just small unique things. Like I I haven't seen this sort of thing on another website. Um really helps distinguish and make your website and your UI uh its own unique thing. And so that's why I chose to include this one. Very cool, sort of like a card skew slash 
uh, 3D fade out effect. Now this sort of thing, I did, I have seen this a million times. Uh, whenever you hover over like these projects or these people, et cetera, et cetera, it'll show this. So I've seen this a million one times. It seems like a lot of these sites use that sort of thing. But all in all, pretty, pretty solid. Here's one from cosmos.so. Really like this uh, design. If I scroll down, we have some interesting things happening here. Um, based on this, we have GSAP and we also have 3JS in some subtle areas. I like this nice um, effect where everything's just subtly moving in the background, sort of like parallax. We scroll down here and this is really cool. So notice how this element right here falls into place in this grid. And you're wondering how the heck do they do that? Well, I guarantee that is with the GSAP flip plugin. I actually cover this on my YouTube channel. If you do a channel search for the flip plugin, you'll see how you can literally take elements that seem to be, you know, in one part of a layout and then transition them seamlessly to another part of the layout. And it's very, very cool. I uh, and it's noticed like some of these subtle things, like me remember the animation. If I scroll down, you can see how that sort of uh, a wave kind of just occurs throughout like that, that is so cool. Like these tiny details I, that you pay attention to. And when you're trying to develop these things, it could take a long time to get it right. So attention to detail, taking the time on every aspect of your website is crucial. So 3JS with these realistic rocks kind of just circling this uh, wait list right here. That is so cool. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. I Every now and then I like to do these type of videos where I take a look at uh, CSS Design Awards, awards.com, along with the FWA, and see kind of what they, they're, they're, they've been choosing as winners and such. And that can give you a really good idea about the direction uh, that the industry is heading and is currently in. And I think interaction and animations uh, is a no-brainer, and it's something that I'm gonna be focusing on going forward and teaching on this channel. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, leave a comment, a like, all that good stuff. Check out designcourse.com and I'll see you real soon. Goodbye.